Hi. Hello. See you in a bit. Yeah. Hi, Helen. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's all right. Your hair looks wet. I didn't know it was raining. It's not. I had a bit of an accident. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. Oh, what about you? You sounded really worried on the phone. What's wrong? Everything. Why? Matt's changed since you left. He used to be so quiet. Asleep most of the time, half asleep the rest of it. But now, he's taken up the guitar. Yeah. He's joined some kind of band, hasn't he? What are they like? I haven't heard them, but he's appalling. And I don't know what to do about Simon. It's getting worse. He's just not interested in me anymore. He's always doing something else. Take last Tuesday. I'd been waiting outside the cinema for over half an hour before he turned up. Hi, Pat. Everything all right? I was really looking forward to seeing this film, but it had only just started when his mobile rang. Je suis désolé, Mathieu. Entre nous, c'était une erreur. Un moment de folie. Pas pour moi, Alain. Je t'aime. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Pet, but I've got to go. But what about the film? Tell me how it ends. I'll call you later. Je t'aime, moi aussi. Mais pas comme ça. Je crois que j'avais pitié de toi. Et c'est pas vraiment une bonne base pour une relation, hein? It's been like this for weeks. I think he's seeing someone else. Are you listening? What? That's terrible. You should tell him to turn down the volume. Who? Matt. Matt! <laughs> Thanks. That's really helpful. So what happened to you? You said you had some sort of accident. Well, it involves our new neighbor. Bill the American? Yep. Gosh. Got to hear this. I'll be right back. Ali had gone to work when I got home. I fancied a relaxing evening. So I made the flat nice and decided to have a shower. We haven't been formally introduced. My name's Bill. Bill Fisher. And I'm Jane. Jane Wilson. Good to meet you. Look, I'm, uh... I'm sorry about the door, but I, uh, I heard a scream. Yeah, it was me. When I got in the shower, the water was freezing. I think the water heater's broken down. You're not an electrician by any chance. Well, I am a scientist, although I work in pharmaceuticals, actually. Have you got a screwdriver and a flashlight? Oh, you mean a torch. Is that what they call it over here? Yeah, but I haven't got one. Okay, I'll go get mine. This is appalling. It was put in years ago. Can you turn off the main switch? Oh, yeah. It's probably in the hall. 
Yeah, right, of course. Next to the fuse box, under the stairs. Okay. But just as I was going to look for the main switch, the phone rang again. It was you. Oh, hi, Helen. What are you up to? I'm standing outside Freud's and waiting for Simon. Can we talk? Of course. Shall I come and meet you there, say, in half an hour? I'm a bit busy at the moment. Thanks, Jane. Okay. Bye. Are you done out there? Yep. I think I can see the problem. There's a loose wire. Can you hold the uh, torch for me? Unfortunately, the electricity hadn't been turned off. What do you mean the electricity hadn't been turned off? You hadn't turned it off. I know. And I felt terrible. Is Bill okay? Well... Hey, take it easy. I am so sorry about this. Accidents happen. It's no big deal. But just wait till I talk to Eddie Usher. That wiring is a disgrace. Ow! What is that stuff? It's a homeopathic cure. Hmm. Unscientific. But it's good. I guess you really like TV. Not especially, why? Well, that's a pretty impressive screen. Oh, that. It was given to me by Matt. Is that the guy I saw you with last Sunday? Yeah. Is he your boyfriend? No. Ex-boyfriend. And then what happened? Nothing. I came here and left him to mend the door. You didn't. 